بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله حمدا كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضاه اخوتي في الله We have heard a lot tonight that which suffices us the speech of our brother Malik كان مناسبا ومفيدا صلبه and beneficial وكذلك لأخينا أبي عطية جزا الله الجميع These are important topics <coughs> وإن كان لابد if it's absolutely necessary that I speak إن شاء الله وضيف الفائدة <coughs> وكلكم تحفظونه Everybody has to memorize this hadith جاء في صحيح مسلم من حديث ابن مسعود رضي الله عنه أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم كان يقول اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والتقى والعفاف والقينة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم يسمع هذه الدعاء اللهم إني أسألك الهدى أو الله أكشي في الجائز والتقى تستقوى حياتي والعفاف أبستنس والغنى and contentment احفظوا you memorize this brothers and sisters اللهم إني أسألك الهدى والتقى والعفافة والغنى and when I'm speaking I'm going to repeat it over and over اقتي في الله sometimes we the dua to Allah we use statements and we just fling it out there and Maybe many of you don't know what these words mean, like ikhlas, sabr. What is it? Not, not in your head of Allah. When the order, what, is what is it? What is sabr? You just write the word patience and that's it? Taqwa, khushu'a. Khushu'a for salah. What is it? Do you know what that means? You just hear these words, they just fly by you and you just take it. Everybody has their own understanding of what khushu'a is. What is khushu'a? Naam. You have to understand the meaning of these words. Shukr. Ah, you know these words. You heard these words before. But Ishmahu Murad Allah wa Murad Rasul. Now, what does Allah and His Messenger mean when they say these words? <laughs> and this hadith, we want to pay attention to the tartib, to the sequence of these requests that the Prophet is asking for. And he asks, al huda wa tuqa. Huda is guidance. It's Islam. And it's what the Prophet was sent with. And it is knowledge and good deeds. He sent his messenger with Huda, with guidance and knowledge. And good deeds. Every day you say, Ihdina Sirat Muskin, Ihdina. It's the path that has what? Knowledge and good deeds. Dina Sirat Mustaqim. Sirat al Ladina and Anta Alayhim. The Sirat that you have put your favor on. And what is that favor? Al Im Wal Amal. It's the favor of knowledge and good deeds. Ghayr al Maktubi Alayhim. Not the path of those ang- your people that the, those that your angles on them, meaning Yahud, they had knowledge, mafia. They had knowledge, no actions. They want to get some. Walad not the Christians. They have actions, no knowledge. But have the Huda. But the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam acts that he has with Islam, knowledge and good actions, a taqwa. فَمَا مَعْنَا أَتَّقْوَى يَا عَبْدَ اللَّهِ He's asked for taqwa. What's taqwa? What do you understand? Somebody's going to say it's the fear of Allah. If that's fear of Allah, what does khawf mean? What does khawf mean? What does khashya mean? All right, you just throw these words around. And we, we the dua in Allah, we just throw these words around. Sometimes I sit in a lecture and I hear the people say, Salah for Salah, Salah for Salah. I look around, I'm like, do they? Who know who the Salaf Salih are? What do you think of that? Like Superman and Batman and, and Iron Man? I, who do they, does everybody understand? No, everybody does not understand that. 
that they're the Sahaba and these Qurun and Mufaddala. They're real people that lived, but everybody does not understand it. I was in the class and I mentioned this to some of the people. Somebody came to me after and he said, yeah. I was in a lecture and the brother was one against the Jahmiyyah. And me and in and, and our village in Yemen, we have a kabila called Jaham. I thought I had to go back and curse them and and and, them and, 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 and talk about them. They didn't know who the Jahmiyyah was. You're talking about Jahmiyyah. You have to explain that. Are you had dying? Everybody doesn't know that. Naam. At tuqa. This kalima taqwa comes from waqa or wiqai, which means protection, a shield. Naam. We want to look at what it means lugatan, what it means linguistically, so we can understand what it means legislatively. Naam. It means to have a protection. You call it for al Arabiya. Al-Jundi yattaqi bi matrasihi. The soldier, he seeks protection from his bunker. He gets down in it. His protection is his bunker, his wikaya. Yattaqi bihi. He seeks protection so no shrap, no shavaya, nothing would hit him. He uses that as a protection. It comes in the hadith of Ali ibn Abi Talib, the ma'na of taqwa lugatan. The meaning of taqwa comes in the hadith of Ali and the Imam Ahmed. Qala, kunna idha shtadda al-bats ittiqina bi Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ejan alnahu fil aman. Asja'a al-nas. Nabiyyina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We, if the war got real thick and was real hard, we put the Prophet in the front and we went behind him. He's the most bravest of the people. He's the wiqaya. He's the protection. It took out, we used him as a protection. All of them were facing the enemy. Nobody ran, but he was in the front. It even comes in the book of Allah. The meaning of taqwa. Allah's lugatan. Lugatan. Linguistically. وَكَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ يَوْمَ يَجْعَلُ وُلْدَانِ شِيبًا How are you going to protect yourself from the fire and your disbelievers? It doesn't mean that you're all, it's Yawm Al-Qiyamah, it's too late for taqwa now. كَيْفَ تَتَّقُونَ إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ How are you going to protect yourself and your disbelievers? Yawm Al-Qiyamah, يَجْعَلُ الْوِلْدَانِ شِيبًا How are you going to protect yourself that day? And you care for the day that makes a little baby have gray hair. How are you going to protect yourself? That's what taqwa is, to protect yourself. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, أَفَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ Su al adab yawm al qiyamah. Have a sual in the man. Who's going to answer this question? Afaman yattati bi wajhihi is the one who protects himself with his face. Su al adab, the punishment yawm al qiyamah. Who is it that protects the punishment his face? Is it the Muslim or the Kafir? Man Yujid, who's going to answer? Who's going to answer? Man al batal, who's brave enough to raise their hand? None of y'all. عندك يا أخي أنا ما اسمه قشنة يا نوفل طيب هو هو this this I I talk about this sort of the zuma أفمن يتقي بوجهه يتقي he uses as his protection his face سوء الأذاب the evil punishment who does that the Muslim or the kafir who does that هو الكافر الكافر نعم he stone in the hellfire and when he's falling in the fire, so that the fire won't hit his chest, he put his face there. What can his face do? So the fire won't hit his legs, he put his face there. How? So the fire won't hit his back, he put his face there. أَفَمَنْ يَتَّقِي بِوَجْهِهِ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ وَقِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ الْكَافِرِ Now, قِيلَ لِلْظَالِمِينَ Finish the ayah. Any ayah, you want to understand what it means? Look before it and look after it. It's the kafir. He put it, but the most honorable thing that he has, his face, his face, he uses it as a protection. You understand what taqwa means, lugatan now? Nah. Tired. When Allah says, Ya yuhaladina amanu ittaqullah, taqwa shar'an bima'ana 
an yaj'al bainaka wa bayna adhabillah wiqaya the between you and the punishment of allah a protection tai what's going to help you brother man your money mashallah what's going to help you your people your connects what's going to help you that day atta your obedience to allah nothing is going to help you what you got what you got in your chest ha what you got brother man What you got from Taqwa? Huh? Now I really see who you really are. Look who you really think you are now. You think you're strong? Damn. You you strong? What you have from Taqwa? What you going to do to protect yourself from the hellfire? And your money ain't going to protect you. I know you got a nice face. I know you grease up your hair's nice. It's not going to benefit. No. Nah. Your nice style your phone now that stuff it don't matter the only thing that's going to protect you is obedience to Allah it's a, a capability that you have it's a strength now ain't nothing but the cool what you got what you have you have to increase that my you stood off at the khaki and it's not bought at the soup you can't buy it you have to earn it and become stronger at it. and you fall down you get back up you earn it you do it better we have today people running around trying to walk on their hands they fall down they can split they can jump they can jump high and they keep practicing just to do physical fleets and attempts and things physical let's not let's not no matter how much you could do with that physical thing your body's getting all the mr man i don't care what you could do now do in five more years i did Do it ten years, it ain't gonna last. It's your body, but this soul, your heart, touch that. No, I mean, well, Allah, touch that. It only increases. Work on your heart. Work on your mind. When Allah says, "Ya yuhaladina amalat taqullah," meaning make a protection between you and the punishment of Allah by doing what you're commanded and staying away from what you're prohibited. Now. And if taqwa is added with berri wa taqwa, berri is it comes with another word. Berri means doing the good deeds. Taqwa means staying away from the haram. What you got in your chest when it comes to looking at the haram and listening with the haram and desire with the haram? What you have on taqwa? What do you think? You just want it? Now I'm for now we understand why the prophet said Allah man yes I look at who that what took us only can come from Allah no I live Allah said cuz he knows that you really want and you're trying it's going to strengthen you hada ma'na taqwa na'am wal ayat fi hada kathira wal waqtu na qasir there's a lot of eyes in that with the time is short al afaf wal ghina so listen Why did the proper put who that what took her? If you don't have taqwa, your who that is in jeopardy. You're going to lose your religion. You have to have took her with who that. If not, it's going to go. That's why those two things are together. You think you're just going to always have that look just because your name is Muhammad, just because your name is Abdul Hakim, just because your name is Abdullah? That's not what that, that's not what keeps you together. Just because you memorize Quran, huh? That's why, right? La, it's more than that. You have to be obedient to Allah. No exceptions to the rule. Now, let's look at the prohibitions that Allah has stipulated in his book. You do all of them? No exceptions to the rule. Yeah, I do it like, you know, the time that we live in, you know, I, I got to do what I got to do because Yeah, I know. Okay. Keep it up. Keep it up. Jeopardizing your huda. Jeopardizing your religion. You know that is haram? Look at all the prohibitions. Which one you refuse to do? I can't do that. A lot of those. Okay, keep it up. Hold on to your religion. Hold on to your religion. But what? What do come? What do come? That's going to protect your religion. Tired? Yeah. Tired? Let's look at the other two. Al Afaf wal Ghina. Al Afaf. If from his kaf. Stop. It's usually used for two things. One is connected to that which is the idea that their money don't desire people's money that what you have is sufficient don't desire don't go after it no. and the other one has to do with fawahish 
an illegal sexual activity. Anta afif. Anta, anta, you, you don't do that with me. I don't, I don't do that. I'm not afif with me. I don't do that. I'm afif. I have ifa. It's a quality that I have. It's not bought at the stores. I don't do that. No way. What I look like? I have ifa. Stop right there. I don't go there. I don't say that. I don't look at that. I don't desire that. I don't listen to that. Now. This has to have Rina. This has to have Rina. Rina, who are Rina nafs. That you're Muslimi on. Rina is istigna. I don't want it. So, how many Muslim brothers, how many Muslims, they stop themselves from doing something and deep down inside they want it? Where are you going? Wait, where, you, where you think you're going? Where are you going with that? Hmm? Deep, deep down inside? They're looking at that calf for that rock band, man. He's successful, man. Look what he got. He got that car. He got that look. He got the dungeon. Hey, you want it all. Hey, but you, no, I, I put my valve on, put my, my thing on, but you desire down in your chest. La al-ghina, ghina, nafs, you almost stubborn. Whatever Allah gave you, you're satisfied with it. But you can't buy, you can't buy satisfaction and contentment at the store. That's why the prophet is asking for it. Ya muqallib al qulub Naam, Allah is the one who changes the hearts. He changes like that. In Tabi, Isma. That which is haram, but I hope you don't like it. Naam. Wa kullin la naqa'a fi ma'asi ya ikwa. All of us fall into sin. Well, we, we fall into the sins that we don't like. We, we fall into sin that nashtahiha lil asaf lil da'af al iman. We fall into sins, the things that we we incline to. So you have to ask Allah, get that out of my chest. I'm sick. Yeah, you're sick. If you like the haram, listen. If you like the haram, you're sick. I'm telling you. If you're looking at pornography, you're sick. If you look and listen to music, that's a sickness. I mean, you have a problem. You, you have a problem, but you know what you're doing? You're covering it up with music. Just deal with the problem. You're covering it up with pornography. Just deal with the problem. Now you're gonna have two problems. You, you know, you know, you know who's sick? People who beat their wives. They have a problem. Why do you think he beat his wife? He have a problem. You know how he covered it up? Scream at his wife. Put her down. You ain't never had nothing. No house is never done. You always got this. Life. You ain't never. He feels like man. I'm the one who's running the job. <laughs> he he has to go to the point. Yes, it is wife. As they say. Hurt people, hurt people. Do you understand what that means? What's your name, Achi? Yeah. Muzaffa, what does that mean? Hurt people, hurt people. The people who are hurting inside, those are the ones that hurt other people. Uh, he's hurting. So how does he cover it up? He hurts other people. But that, he has, now he has a double problem. He's hurting inside. But you have to deal with your problem. Yeah, like every single one of us knows what he has inside that's troubling him. Deal with the problem. Don't cover, don't run away. Yeah, Batal and Mr. Man, you man. Handle your stuff. Handle your business. You got a problem, right? We all have something in our chest. Handle it. Face it. Some of them are not even willing to say it in their dua. Oh, Allah, I have a problem with such and such. They, they don't even want, they can't even mention it on their own dua. Allah admit that I. Say it! Say it to Allah! Confront it! How long are you going to keep hiding behind the screen? Hide it! You know, Muslims gamble, you know that? Yeah, they do. They have left nothing for the disbelievers. Nothing. Nothing. And where you at? Where you at? Nah, listen. Your problems, put it right in front of you. Stop bumming it away, finding your wife's problems. Find the problems with the brothers. Nuh-uh. When, when, when we used to study them, we know the brothers that didn't memorize well, and they didn't, they, they didn't study hard. What they used to do, they used to flee to Jehovah Tadil, his top band. Yeah, that brother's office in Manhattan, because they didn't know they couldn't memorize. So the only way they could have some type of props 
Other people have come here, they've been like five, six, seven years here. Another brother come two years, he finished the Quran. Mother come here six months, he's speaking Arabic. He ain't memorized Quran yet. His Arabic still not together. Philan, he got problems with his minhaj. Like, what? what are you talking about? That's the only thing he has to, to cover up his, his, his deficiencies. That's all he can use to cover up his deficiencies. I took him down there. That brother can't, he got issues with him. No. Listen, don't cover up your deficiencies. Face it. No. That what you have to stay away from, stay away from it. That's if. But you can't do it and you desire the same thing inside your heart. Allahu alimun be that to sudur. Allah knows what's in your heart. Who are you fooling, Aki? Isma, kun habibuk. Be the one that loves you. You, you love yourself. Kun habibuk, kun tabibuk. Alij nafsa. You treat your own sicknesses. Nobody knows it. You know it. You know what you're hiding. Kun tabibuk, kun habibuk. Nah, be your own doctor. Recognize the problem. Talk to Allah. Love yourself. Honor yourself. Stop ignoring yourself. Nah. And covering it up with somebody else's faults. Nah. If you're going to stay away from the haram, keep it out of your... Don't look at the haram. Nah. Don't desire and chase behind disbelievers. Don't look at music videos. Don't look at pornography. Don't gamble. Don't do those things and thinking that your heart is going to be clean. No, listen, when we say these words, heart and ruh, mean your mind, your psyche is going to be troubled. Now, so tell me, I want you to be honest, when, when, when you cut your phone off? <laughs> cut my life off? <laughs> I don't cut my phone off. I can't live without my phone. I can't live without it. It's my main man. Me and my phone, I say, he's with me. Uh -huh. This phone is the pacifier of the men. You know the little pacifier that the baby suck on? Men suck on their phone all night long. It's a pacifier. The pacifier don't have no honey on it, no milk. It just lets the baby know somebody's there. My brother, my sister had to pat him on his back every time. Every time she stopped patting the back, he would cry. She took a book and just put it on his back and he would sleep all night. Nah. Ty, listen, this phone, turn it off. See how long you do it, Ali. Turn it off. Off! Not silent, off! Nah. Don't put it in your bedroom. Let the it outside. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm, I'm supposed to get up for work. Find a way. Nah. Find a way. Nah. For Ashdaduna, those that lived in the, in the century before us, they were bigger men than us. You a man? They were stronger men than us. We're so attached to everything. We're so attached to it. We need it. Can't live without it. Because we're weak. I'm the first of them. We're weak. We're not capable of standing on our own two feet. We have a cane, a crutch, everything. Just to stand up. And we cover our pains with other things. We cover it. We're all suffering from pain. You know the pain that you have. Get rid of it. Stop covering it up with my auntie. Don't cover your pain with my auntie. Cover it up. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Annihilate it. Face it. Face it. Say, Allah, I have a problem with bam, bam, bam. Help me. And then say, Allahumma, inni as'aluka al-huda wal-tuqa wal-afafa wal ghima that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to purify our souls. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Give us taqwa. Give us the strength. It's capability. It's quwa. That's strength. Nah. Don't, don't look at the brother. Listen. Don't be, don't be fooled. You see a brother? He, he, has, he has a limp. He's, 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 he's handicapped. He might walk with a limp. Another brother might be a little heavyweight. All that stuff. Don't do it. How, that does not harm anybody. Let them be overweight. And you think you're sharp because your chest is broad, mashallah, and your thalb is mashallah. You think that's going to be? That don't benefit. I know your thalb is nice. I know that you, you, get that, you get that made when you went to Mecca. And when you went to Saudi, you got it. Fussle, nah, nah, nah. I, I know that. I'm a man, Fatiyah. 
That don't benefit you none. And your socks is matching your thighs. Let the brother with the mismatched socks don't don't mix, don't judge him by his book. Don't judge that book by his cover. Don't judge that brother by his cover by his thong. In Allah, la yanduru ila surikum wa la ila ajsamikum wa fi riwaya la ila ahma ila amwalikum. Allah don't look at your shapes and your sizes and the narration and your money. Allah looks at your hearts and your actions. Imagine if Allah exposed us. What? Allah, Allah exposes us. Oh, Rahim. He covers our faults. Oh, Rahim is merciful. You need Lana Khairan. No. He wants for us mercy. So listen to this. Al-Jahl. And these are bad habits that we have of ignorance. In satartahu fadahak. Wa in fadahtahu satara alayk. Naam. Al-Jahl, ignorance. If you try to cover it up, it's going to expose you. But if you expose it, oh Allah, I have this, I have that, I'm trying to get rid of it, how can I get it? You expose it, it's going to cover you up. Naam. Expose your weaknesses to Allah. Open it up. What is the problem? Look at Expose your weaknesses. If not, it's going to expose you. Now nah, it's going to embarrass you. Take your weaknesses. Open them up. Look at it. Now, nah. that's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna la jannin ala ta'ati. Inna hu waliyu dhalika wal qadir alayhi. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Thank you.